their Ivysaur definitely stands out a lot, but usage of Charizard might actually be good against Rob. I know some people disagree with that, but heavy versus heavy? I'm, I'm about that. I'm about that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so me looking to start things out. King looking for a combo starter with that up tilt, but not able to find anything just yet. Dill able to air dodge out of it. All right, yeah. nice use of the waterfall. Just kind of putting up a wall for Dill. Hey, you know, you're going to see util Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. I'm a liar. I was going to say, you're going to see utilization of Squirtle a lot at early percents, obviously. I like to call it the battery of the team. Uh, essentially because Squirtle is really good at racking up percents, but, you know, you have the detriment of you die really fast. And mm. against Rob, you, you're not going to want to stay Squirtle too much. Yeah, no, just get that nice, like, oh my God. damage, but... The super deep down air from King gonna be taking a pretty early stock off of Dill, who historically has just lived very long. Absolutely, and dying at 80% at the bottom of the blast zone there from a down air? Like, come on, man, that's crazy. I feel like Ivysaur in this matchup is gonna be so instrumental just because of the coverage that Ivysaur provides off stage because. Dill has so many recovery mix-ups up, up her sleeve. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's like the way that she Ooh. weaves around with this character. Oh, my God. What nice tech. tech. All right, gets a little bit too greedy with the downer there, looking for a two-frame. Dill's going to be able to find her way back oh, on the stage. Very dead. So right there, I like that setup with the gyro. Uh, if you're a fan of Street Fighter Third Strike, or I want to say even like, what, Street Fighter Five? There's a move called Aegis Reflector. Oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so it's a nice little cross-up option. Every time I see it and someone sets up with it and gets a kill like that, it's always Aegis. You know, that's that's the sort of profound character mastery that you see out of players like Dill, who have so much experience uh, with Rob in general. And, you know, you catch somebody once with Gyro at Edge Air, and it just leads to stocks like that. Yeah, and just kind of the creativity that Rob allows. <gasps> that could have been so bad if King was in that. Whoa! Flare Blitz into the back air. I mean, you'd never see King do that move, like, ever. And the one time that they decide to do it, Dill was just there with the back air. That's insane. That's got to break King's morale right now for sure, but this is still like very possible despite the fact that like, you know, Dill's already up a stock in that, almost, yeah, a full stock. I was going to say a stock and a half, but the percentage is climbing right now. Oh, That's side B! The side B to catch the Pokemon switch. Wow. I mean, listen, that, that side B, that's, that's the washing machine. It is. You get hit with that, you get washed, it happens like, oh man, I can't even explain right now. That was, see, Aegis Reflector? Uh. I love it. I love it, man. But I, I don't Durian even has like the power bomb, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing. See, I didn't even think about that. Thank you, Force. Jeez. I'll this just... was disgusting. <laughs> that uh... King, King, I think, was in a situation where he really had to flare blitz, so it was kind of a checkmate situation. Yeah. Cause like, oh, that was another gross one. Even if King managed to switch to Ivysaur, which wouldn't really be possible in that situation, it was still death no matter what. Mm. So you're definitely right about the checkmate. But nonetheless, game two here. Coming into small battlefield, which I definitely think benefits King a little bit more than Smashville did. You know, Smashville, very historically good for zoners and projectile characters who can just set up underneath that main platform. Absolutely. And Dill already climbing up to 65% so soon. See, this is what I meant about Squirtle being a battery character. Um, nice switch into Ivysaur because, again, Ivysaur is... In my opinion, the best. What, what do you think, Boris? Do you think Ivysaur is the best out of them? I think so. so Though that, that may be just be like a season it one. Really depends on matchup. Opinion, but <laughs> this is usually like a Squirtle matchup, just because you can't. Squirtle makes it a one-player game. Ivysaur in advantage is incredible versus Rob. Rob disadvantage kind of sucks, but <laughs> Ivysaur doesn't have like neutral buttons and like all the stuff that you normally control space with. Like Rob is just like laser, and you're like, oh, <laughs> all right. I guess I can't press side B. And then like Ivysaur disadvantage is like probably the worst of three. Oh, I mean, I guess you know, I, uh, no. Zard has a triple jump and an armor up B. Yeah, Ivysaur is the worst of three. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. mean, you play PT, so yeah. that, that's all here. You got it. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'll, I'll stop now. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Devin. All right, all right Suplex there. onto the platform with Rage. Definitely going to be doing it for King. Finally on the board with a stock, but 108%. That's a lot of extra credit, and Dill looking to close it out soon. But luckily, Zard's a heavy boy. Oh, what a read there. Oh, my God. Throwing down the gyro and just expecting exactly where King was going to go. Like, it's weird. Like, Dill kind of just autopiloted there, and it just happened. Yep. All right, but 
still with some great combo DI right now, making sure that King is not really able to, you know, set up the percent that he wants to start playing his game. Yeah, right now, King's just not able to get in with the Squirtle. So, yeah, the switch is coming out. Very expected at that point. But you got to be careful because even though Ivysaur is a little heavier than Squirtle, this is definitely still kill percent right now. Yeah, I mean, we've already seen Dill kill at these percentages in this set so far. Yeah. Ooh, big read coming out from King. Not working out. Getting King now put off stage again. Yeah, the F smash there was definitely really bold. It wouldn't have killed, but it would have given a lot of uh, stage presence for, uh, for King there. But... You know, it was it was a heck of a risk, and you know, we we got to see if it pays off in the end. I'm actually surprised that back air didn't send farther. That looked like the sweet spot. Yeah, still early percent, and not to mention Dill's DI is godlike, but you can't DI that. No, you cannot DI death. It happens. Oh, okay. Oh. This is my gyro. O only gets the one little like petty throw out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, items are on now. <laughs> I don't know what Take to tell it back. you. This is the game soccer I wanted. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. I like that good stall on Dill's part because she knew that, you know, King was just, King was just going to risk it all with a down air, you know? Yeah, but King, you know, giving Dill some space, didn't want to risk too much, uh, you know, especially with so much percent. I think up air may have been untechable. How's your match? Oh, my God. Pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Heck, yeah. Like, I'm telling you, like, if you can't mash out of that, it's just it's practically into death. No gyro on deck there. Means the F tilt hit. Oh, my God. It oh. hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. The long range snipe from Dill, throwing out the gyro, taking game two. And, like, that was absolutely insane play. Like, what I saw out of King there is, um, as expected, like, Rob versus Charizard is something that I usually expect to see in this matchup. And we did get a lot of that towards the end of this, like, last round. But, you know, unfortunately, there was one situation where uh, King had went to go jab, and Rob was behind Charizard. Mm -hmm. There was no connection there, and that was just a free punish for Dill. And, uh, you know, it just led to all this, and that, 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 that though, that, <laughs> that, I, I can't Where did my that. Pokemon go? The trainer, yeah, the trainer's like, oh, is this a load screen? What's going on? <laughs> Queuing into online battles. That's nuts, man. But what more can you do in a situation like that? The most that King could have done was maybe like a neutral air dodge, but even then, it's mm -hmm. like you're setting yourself up for death. Because yeah, you're just getting frame trapped at that yeah. point. Because Charizard's up air is uh, up air. Uh, Charizard's up B is like very, uh, very vertical, so it's not hard for Dill to challenge that with a down air and just get an easy kill out mm -hmm. of it. Like super predictable recoveries on certain characters like that. It's it's tough to see and it's a, it's a hard pill to swallow, but you know that's just how the matchup goes sometimes. But nonetheless, that.